me, Erin Holt, the manager of community partnerships at Artistry, and I'm coming at you with another drawing challenge. Um, let me just say that so far we've been so excited by the response to these. It's been such a fun way to continue to create a creative community uh, between all of us, even though we're separated by quarantine. So thank you. Uh, we at Artistry have been really trying to create content that will keep you all engaged, keep us connected, um, and we're also looking towards the future, coming up with new programming that hopefully we'll be able to implement sooner rather than later. Without much further ado, let's get into this challenge. And what is it called? It's called the No Pencil Portrait Challenge. That's right. And what I mean by that is we are going to be using some maybe less traditional media to do portraiture. We're going to stay away from pencils. We're going to stay away from charcoal. We're going to stay away from anything that you can erase. I want you to commit to doing a portrait using strictly mediums that you cannot change after you've laid them down on the page. So I'm talking pens, markers, crayons, Maybe colored pencils, they're pretty hard to erase too, but something you can't erase. That's what we're going to be doing our portrait out of. The reason why I want you to do this is because portraiture is often really intimidating. Um, working with the human body, working with features and anatomy, it really kind of freaks us out because we all know what it's supposed to look like. And so when it's not quite there, it can be really, really kind of scary and uncomfortable. And so by committing to using something like pen that we can't erase, it's going to make you kind of follow through, finish the portrait. And I promise you, you're going to see yourself getting pretty good at this pretty quickly. Hopefully this will also take some of the stress off of you around drawing the human face. I'm not going to let you erase. It can be perfect. Mine isn't perfect. No one's going to be perfect when we're using something like pen or marker. There's always going to be a couple mistakes that we can't go back and change. And that is just fine. That is part of drawing. That's part of sketching that's part of working. Now as far as where you're going to get your portrait from, you can do absolutely anything you want. If you have a mirror, you can do a self-portrait. If you have a family member who's willing to sit for you, that can be kind of fun. I would also suggest if you like to go to some of the museum collections. I went to MIA or the Minneapolis Institute of Arts and I just typed in portrait into their search bar and I scrolled through for a while until I found a portrait that I liked. And I actually found a portrait by a Japanese printmaker named Hokusai, who is a printmaker that I really love. And he did a portrait that I really liked. I thought it was a nice basis. So that's what I'm going to be basing my work on today. Before we get into the actual video, I want to talk about some things you can do uh, in order to make it a little bit easier to draw the human face. There are some basic proportions with the human face, where if you follow them, it's not going to be exactly the same for each person, but by using them as guides, it can get you close. Um, and this is actually really going to make drawing the face a lot easier. So the first thing that you'll do is divide the face straight down in half. You know, it's going to be roughly symmetrical on either side. The next thing you'll want to do is divide the face in half the other way. And this is going to be your eye line. A lot of times when people are drawing, they put the eyeballs way up here and everyone looks kind of like an alien. I just still do that sometimes. I have to consciously tell myself to move the eyes down. The way you can prove that it's about halfway is if I take my thumb and put it right between my eyes, and then I put the top of my finger right at the top of my skull, not at my hairline, but right at the top of my skull. And then I take my fingers away, bring them down, put my finger right between my eyes and my thumb, you'll find it falls right at the bottom of my chin, just like that. So right around halfway, that's where your eyeballs are gonna be. Roughly around halfway, if I go right here to the bottom of my nose, pick this back up, go to the bottom of my nose, right about the bottom of my chin again. So the bottom of your nose roughly falls about halfway between your chin and your eyeballs. And last but not least, your mouth, Right here, thumb, there. Once again, mouth falls roughly between the nose and the chin. Proportions vary depending on who it is. So you might not have exactly the same proportions that I do. Whoever you're drawing might not have exactly the same proportions you do. But again, keeping these sort of measurements in mind can make it a little bit easier and just give you a framework to work off of while you're doing your portrait work. Out of all the challenges I've done so far, I think this one's my favorite. I absolutely love portraiture personally. It's one of my favorite things to draw. And so I can't wait to see you all take your pencils and throw them away, grab that pen, and get started. I think you're going to be really happy with the results.
Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. It's been absolutely blast making more content for y'all, and I hope you're enjoying seeing it as much as I'm enjoying making it. Um, I hope you're all doing well out there, and just remember, we're all in this together. <laughs>